Hello, everybody. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here with all of you for a brief interview for our project on crisis on the psychic, emotional and economical level that uh, the whole world is going through. Today, we are going to be talking with uh, Mr. Enrique Meredes, that in between many other professional positions, was the former president of Bank Boston International, was the former president of Central Bank of Brazil during eight years of government, a former uh, minister of finance of Brazil and former secretary of finance of the state of Sao Paulo. He is going to be talking with my colleague and friend, Anat Ben Israel, psychologist and teacher from the Biodynamic School from London, and uh, Anat also worked in several other countries as a teacher. So uh, I introduced both, both of you. I hope we have a nice and good essential conversation about uh, uh, our project of crisis. Please go ahead. Thank you, thank you, Ruth. Um, and thank you, Enrique, for giving some of your precious time to this conversation and introduction to your talk on August 12th. And with your profound and public and private knowledge of the economic crisis that are constantly happening in various countries, could you briefly say something essential before your talk? so that people can face on a practical level these economic ups and downs in their best emotional and mental in an economic way. What could people do? Could you share with us a bit? Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. and It's an honor for me. Uh, thank you. Uh, for the opportunity and uh, for the question. Uh, the crisis uh, affects everyone in different ways. Then uh, there are different ways to cope uh, with that. Uh, the, the most uh, basic uh, point now is inflation. Because inflation with prices raising uh constantly in some countries more than others that evidently generates some anxiety some insecurity because it's kind of uh saying that the salary gets smaller uh every week uh and uh, evidently that generates uh some level of insecurity, and people uh, will have to cope with that. Evidently, that uh, if we separate here the two things, the, the economic point and the, the, the practical ways of dealing with that, that's one thing, and the other uh, point is the emotional one, obviously. Uh, the, the fact that... Uh, this is happening is a reflection at the end of the day of the pandemic uh, and the fact that the supply of goods and, and, and in some in some sector services but particularly the disruption of the production channels uh, all over the world that created create some problems and, and one of them the most important one obviously uh, it's uh, inflation, because that's a more lasting one. And the problem is for central banks uh, to deal with that, and for governments to deal with that, uh, it's important and necessary to bring the uh, economy down, to bring the, the level of activity down. And that generates another problem for people, which is... Uh, their security and their certainty about being able to keep their jobs. And then we have here a combination of two things. Number one, the, the question of uh, raising prices. And the second one, the question of uh, uncertainty about 
people being able to keep their job because on one hand, prices are raising, central banks have to fight that. But in order to fight that, you have to uh, decrease the, the economy and as a result, create uh, some uh, higher unemployment. In summary, that is uh, the way to work. The, the, the good point, what I think that uh, people could keep in mind is that that's temporary. Exactly the fact that Central Bank is taking the right measures to, to face it, it's uh, an indication that this problem is going to be solved. And then there is a light at the end of the tunnel, let's put it this way, and that is what people uh, should be aware of in the sense that uh, we have really uh, a problem, but this problem is being dealt with, and one part of the problem is exactly the consequence of the measures which are being taken to control inflation and to face the crisis. At the same time, with the time going by, uh, going on, we have the, the companies and the economy uh, fighting and finding ways to solve these production problems and the economic problem in due time, which causes it or the basic root of inflation, will also uh, decrease, alleviate, be alleviated. And as a result of that, the two things together, I think that uh, uh, we, we will get out of it, help it help from the economic point of view. And what we have to deal with everyone's uh, emotional reaction and anxiety about uh, all this situation. But I think the message is uh, the problem is being addressed. It's going to be solved in every country. And we have to cope with that and keep our eyes on the light at the end of the tunnel because things will eventually be solved in the level of uncertainty, I think it's decreasing every day. So from what you are saying, people should be optimistic that there is there is a solution. And if yes. there is something that the individual all in different countries can do to help themselves during these very difficult times. Yes. Uh, what they should do is evidently uh, first to to be aware of uh, the fact that this is temporary. Uh, evidently, deal with the emotional uh, anxiety and consequence of of that, and as a result of that, uh, taking practical measures to keep going. Uh, because uh, some jobs uh, will be lost, but that's, again, temporary. But uh, most jobs will not be lost. That's very important. And people should concentrate on their work, do their, 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 their uh, work well, do what they have to do. Their functions should be well-performed, and people should be well-focused focused on their functions on their jobs and keep going and uh, evidently again having a view uh, uh, and listen and see and focusing on the light uh, uh, by the end of the tunnel in the sense that there is a way out and we should do our, our, our job now and, and, and be aware of that to keep things more controlled uh, emotionally in order to enable everyone, to enable us to uh, do our jobs well and keep going to make, not to make things worse from a personal point of view. Mm -hmm. Well, this is very encouraging that you as the, with your knowledge and your experience have this view and I'm sure that the viewers will be looking forward to hear your talk and to hear your greater vision to the future. So thank you so much for giving us of your time.
Thank you very much. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here. Thank you for the invitation and thank you for the very insightful questions. You're very welcome. Thank, thank you, Enrique. Thank you, Anat. And you. see you in August. <laughs> see you.